Hi there, I'm Arno from Spectravelers and I will give you a short overview of our Quantum Sound Library Toolkit. In fact, when you purchase Quantum Library, you have access to the raw and designed section and the new one called Toolkit. We decided to create it because we want to share with you a part of the design process and allow you to easily create new sounds and texture from our assets. Now let's take a look at it. This section includes a large number of files based on the raw records. Because the EMF sources have the very wide range of frequencies, we explored their sounds with different pitch settings and they decide to order them in different categories. So, alarm, drone, energy, engine, Force field, impact, machine, and more and more. Benoit did an awesome sound overview of this section in another video. You can find the link below in the video description. In addition to this sound, we decided to share some reactor maps and presets because we thought it could be fun to have a part of our sound design process. You can find all the presets and maps in the Quantum Toolkit folder. When you open the folder, you see uh, that there are three different presets. Uh, the first one is the Droney Ensemble. If you didn't know, uh, this is an incredible and free reactor ensemble made by the Grandmaster Antonio Blanca. Uh, you can download it for free on Twist and Tools website. The second preset is the S-Layer Ensemble. This uh, ensemble is not free, but uh, really a must-have. You can also find it on Twist and Tools website. And the last one, the must-have too, is the famous Whoosh Ensemble made by Tornstorm. Later on, we will take a look at how to load and use all of them. Last but not least, you can also find all maps in each folder's categories. So here for alarm sound, and here for drown sound, energy, engine, force field and more. So now let's make a focus on how to load and use them. In the Reaper session, I added three tracks. Uh, one with the S-Layer, Drony, and Whoosh. So let's start with the S-Layer. At first, I load S-Layer preset. Mm, to do that, just click first on Edit. Click on Bank button here. Right click and the load bank. In this case, I will load a Slayer preset and wait for loading. And the magic happens all presets are loaded. Now you can load the appropriate reactor maps files depending on the presets that you want to use. Indeed, the presets are based on quantum map files, but of course, if you want, you can use your own reactor map. The thing to remember with quantum preset is the naming used on presets. For example, if I use a preset called force field, I will load the reactor map called force field as well. So let's load the map called force field. Click on the waveform icon and the sample map button, choose import replace option, search force field folder and force field map, and click open, and again wait for loading. The map is now loaded and we can listen at it.
Let's take a look at the Dronian sum now. It is the same logic as S layer. At first, I load the Drony preset. And wait again. And the corresponding reactor map. And we can listen. To finish this video, let's look quickly at the Whoosh Ensemble. This is again the same logic as well. Listen to it. Thank you for watching this video, we hope you enjoy. You can find in the description all the information about the Quantum Library.